<clears throat> we're live yes give me one second let me just open up my video let me mute it All right. Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome to my channel. This is Carmen with Elemental Design. And how is everybody doing today? Hopefully good. Hey, Donna. Okay. Hey, Isabel. How are you, love? Let's see. Let me just up my, my display here. So, you guys. Hey, Sasso. So, you guys, woo, today, <laughs> I took the cap off. We're going to be altering this light bulb that I got at Hobby Lobby for $5.99. Um, and as you guys saw, this, the top comes off. So, we're going to be altering this and turning this light bulb into an angel. Um, very similar to what I did for. Um, Metals in Love, which is right here. So very similar to this, um, not quite uh, as involved as this, but we're gonna do something similar to this. So how you doing, Isabel? So for that, we're going to need a pair of wings, which I have gone ahead, um, the ones that you saw on that angel, I did those by hand. Uh, these I cut with the Cricut machine. Um, you can pretty much find any silhouette of wings and you can use that as a template uh, to trace it onto chipboard and cut them out if you wish. I have this strip here that is one inch wide by, if I can find a ruler. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys conspiring behind me? Don't be conspiring behind me. Um, so it's about eight and three quarters um, by one inch. But pretty much what you do is you just grab your strip and then you just measure it. And then what you want to do is where they meet, you want to fold and bend those ends back because that's what you're going to use to attach your wings, okay? You're still sick, oh no. Yes, me too. Hey, Giselle. So pretty much you can do this using um, chipboard or cardstock, or you can use fabric. Um, the one that you see, um, the one that I just shared with you guys, I use fabric for mine, um, for that one. But this one, I'm gonna go ahead and use a uh, chipboard. So to add texture to the bottle, um, I've pretty much gathered some little knickknacks, um, so some string, some yarn, um, some trims, different kinds of trims, um, strung little beads, just different things. Um, I'm gonna make a little necklace for her um, using these charms that I received from BB Crafts. If you haven't seen that video, definitely go and check it out. Um, I have the links in the description area. So if you wanna go ahead and check out the items, you can go ahead and do so by going to that video. Um, I'm also going to be hoping to incorporate a flower in there as well. Um, and then I found these today. And these are some foam pieces that I received from Millie, who is um, scrapbooking albums and beyond, I believe. I'm sorry if I'm butchering that. Hey, Teresa, hello, Marge. Hello, hello, everybody. Um, so I received these foam pieces from her um, from a giveaway that I won off her channel. And I thought, you know what? This would be awesome to implement on here and um, pretty much stick them on and jessel them over. So we have some gears. I have a few flowers. I have this fern looking thing. Um, I have these little birds on a branch. And then I have this right here, um, this time piece. So I figured all of those together, plus the different trims should definitely make a, a very interesting uh, piece of art, hopefully, right? Hello, Vey. Hopefully I'm saying that right. So what we're gonna do 
pretty much the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna add here um we're gonna add here our wings so i'm gonna turn my glue gun on you're gonna need a glue gun for this um or you can do it with you know if you if you're willing to let it rest overnight then you can go pretty much with any glue as long as it won't slide off um but you can clip it to keep it tight So I'm gonna do that. Um, I also got some rose that trim that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. So I'm gonna be adding some fabrics in there because it's good to have um, different textures for the heavier items to be able to grab onto them after you know you glued them all down. Because the glass is just too smooth, um, so it'll start to kind of fall off. Awesome. Oh, you sneaky! You guys are so sneaky right now. They brought in ice cream. <laughs> That's so mean. While I'm at work, they're having desserts. No, no, no. Don't come to me with your guilty little gifts. All right, so let's go ahead and glue this on. I'm just waiting for my glue gun to kind of heat up. Let's put all of this stuff to the side because we won't be needing this for a little bit. So we're going to glue everything on and then we're going to just so, okay? So you definitely want to make sure that your glue gun is really, really hot for this. That's so mean <laughs> what they're doing to me right now. And it's they because it's him and my daughter conspiring. I knew there was conspiring. I heard them in the background. I was like, aha, what's going on? <laughs> All right, so let's see. No, my glue gun's still not ready. Still not ready. I had to make sure that it was on. So we'll see. We'll see how it all kind of pans out. Hmm? Thank you. <laughs> so how's everybody doing tonight? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you are. <laughs> With a bucket full of ice cream over here. <laughs> Just waiting on this. I also had cut out a smaller pair, but at the end of the day, I think um, aesthetically speaking, the bigger, the longer ones look way better on it than the shorter ones do. So I opted for the longer ones. So I have a pair of shorter ones here for maybe another project, maybe with a smaller bottle or a different um, type bottle. Cause you can do the same thing on a bottle that I'm doing now. Oh, it's snowing. Where are you? Where are you located? That it's snowing already. Now we are never have to watch out. It's supposed to snow tonight, right? Ah, mm -hmm. uh, great. Hmm? Yeah, it's really thick and heavy. So I'm gonna put this right along the very, very top, and I'm gonna squeeze down. And I'm just gonna hold it together as tightly as I can. But yeah, it's really heavy. It's a couple pounds. Well, maybe like about a pound and some change, right? A pound. Check it. Like what? Half a pound. About half a pound? Like half a pound? Okay, maybe my maybe my metrics are off. <laughs> it could be. It could be. It could be. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna just um close up the scene. I'm not. <laughs> oh, she is. Oh, okay. I know. In Minneapolis. And St. Paul. All right, I'm just gonna hold those two together, those two sides, and so that glue kind of dries up a little bit. I want to make sure my wings don't go falling off later. So even if um, it falls off of the glass, the fact that I'm um, gluing them to each other, the paper to the paper, that'll you know make it last longer. So just make sure you get it real tight. Mm -hmm. Did you go swimming in all of them? <laughs> I would have at least gone to one. Is that where Jaws is from, Minnesota? Where's Jaws from? 
isn't it? From Florida. It's from Florida? Yeah. Oy. All right, so now that we have our um our strip glued on, okay? Remember, glue it to each other. Make sure that these two are making contact. That way, you know, you have more longevity out of it. I'm going to go ahead and just glue the wings on. And I'm going to make it so that the little tabs are facing the back. And I'm just going to press that into place. And ow, I burned my finger. Uh, ow. Gotta get all that glue off of there. It all ran down, it's so hot. Don't worry about that because you're gonna be adding texture to it later with the glue gun as well. So, let's see. And I'll just add the other one. And it'll have a movement. But well, we're all the way in New York and it's supposed to snow out here. Hopefully it doesn't snow too bad though. I think I'm gonna just put it on the tab. Make my life a little easier. There you go. So now we have our wings. So our jar is already on its way. I know I have them too, and I just, I don't know where I put them. <laughs> I have them somewhere. I have them somewhere. I know somewhere this will help me right now because um, I burned myself a few times already, but. So super cute, right? Simple so far. And again, you can do this with anything, even a bottle. It doesn't have to be a light bulb. All right, so now we're gonna start gluing on some of our pieces. And like I said, I have some trims and some strings. And we're gonna glue all the elements on first, and then we're going to gesso over everything. Once the gesso is dry, then we'll start to add our other little, um, you know, sparkles here and there. Yeah, we can sometimes. We definitely can. We've been known to have our storms here and there. Okay, so we got that one, that one. A little bit of that one. So I'm gonna have to stand up to do this so that I can do it and share with you guys at the same time. Let's see. All right. Hopefully I'm in frame. Am I? Okay. Um let me see if I can get a pair of uh, four tweezers. From there, um, oh, I found the face. Oh, well, maybe, maybe, maybe that might work. That might work. Um, okay, tweezers, just in case. I feel like I need to um, get that extra assistance. So you're gonna have to help me with anything that they're saying. I won't be able to see it. Okay. Let's see. Okay. First one, one, and two. We start to add some of the elements. And I'm going to make it so that it touches a little bit of the glass and the cardboard. So, no matter what, there's something for her to, uh, for it to hold on to. Mm 
So, David, a little bit of both. I gotta add more glue to the back of the wings. The back of the wings are a little flimsy. Okay. Oh, no, I just gotta hold this. I just have to hold this so that it dries in place. While I continue, I'm sick and I say it's not eight years after. Yeah. Okay. Just taking it down. And you just want to add things that have texture to them because when you paint over this, um, and you start to add some of your little ac accent colors and um, shimmers and metallics or whatever it is that you're going to be using. All these little bumps, all these little grooves are going to catch um, different amounts of the material. So it's going to give you different effects. Super cool. Okay, so we got that one. Let's go all on the belly. I'm gonna start in the back. I'm gonna put it right there. Before I go around, I should go around. So I'm gonna start right there. You can see it the same thing. I did mine with the Cricut machine. I um, downloaded a, a image of a silhouette of a wings and pretty much just let the machine do the rest of it. <laughs> I took it the easy route. On this one. Not yet. It's still kind of full. All right, so keep on adding glue. Okay. 
is why I need more. Whatever doesn't stick to the glass all the way through now will stick to the glass after you just would because all of the fabrics um pretty much it'll be like decoupaging. And you just go adding, you know, bits of trim by bits of trim. And so you've done the whole thing. I don't necessarily recommend gluing um, like heavy embellishments straight onto the glass with the glue gun because it's going to fall off with time. All right, let's count that. Okay, let's start adding some of these foam bits. I'm a little worried about using uh, the hot glue gun with this foam because I don't want the foam to melt. I'm sorry if my ugly mug gets in the way. <sighs> Hopefully I didn't pop in the scene. All right, so let's continue doing, let's continue doing that. Tricky, tricky, my friends. Tricky, tricky. Oh, 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 So you can die cut your foam pieces and glue them down and create even better because it takes the contour, it takes the shape. So pretty cool. I learned something new today. How do I make this make sense? <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. Why is it a bird? No bird. Maybe no bird. That's about the only way I can make it make sense. Otherwise, it wouldn't make sense. Hey, Tina. So let's see. Let's keep on adding. Let's just keep on adding, you guys. So I'll just fill it up with these then. I'll fill it up with the little um little sprocket things. Oh uh oh, oh.
Let's see. A few more to go here and there. <clears throat> and then we'll be just about ready to go. Thanks, Donna. All right, so I think that's pretty good. I'm going to add the firm back here as part of her um, tail. Not that she has a tail, but you know what I mean, she's behind. <laughs> so I'm just letting it touch wherever, and I'm just gonna put it down. This is not the neatest job. And I'm just going to cut it down. I'm going to do the last little bits right here. Okay. Okay. So now she's going to have a nice little um, textured area on her, on her back. I'm gonna do the flower back there too. Oh, my fingers. Okay. All right, so that's glued on. So now I'm gonna wrap um, some of this string around and I'm gonna wrap some of these pearls around. And then we're gonna work on um, doing the lines on the on the wings. So they have that um, textured appearance. I'm trying to get the string off this thing here. And I'm really excited to see what this is gonna look like at the end. Okay, let's see. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue. I'm gonna go ahead and glue right into there. I'm going to push that right into there, and then I'm just going to wrap it. Let's see. I'm going to do it there. I'm going to continue to wrap it the way I want to wrap it. I'm gonna make sure that I don't catch the wing. 
the wings in my way now. Let me go ahead and glue it here. So that it's stuck on different parts. Like I said, once I gesso everything, it'll all kind of seal, seal itself up. And what's nice that is because it's glass, the glue kind of comes off easy if you rub it, it just kind of comes right off, which is a bad thing, <laughs> which is why we gotta make sure that we seal it because otherwise it won't work. You can also opt to um, gesso your surface first before you glue your things. You can always do that too. Gonna stuff that in there, nice and taut. Okay, so we got that part of it going. So we got our string. Now we're gonna go ahead and add more of this. It's all about adding texture, layers of texture, layers of texture. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna start off by gluing right into that little um, crevice right there by the wing. Just a little bit of glue right there. Okay. Hold that in there. And then you can start to do the same thing over here. This is a little heavier, so you want to just make sure that um you adhere it to places where it's not gonna fall off. Thanks, also. Hmm. Yeah. So let's see here. Let's scroll up a little bit. I'm gonna have to go in the back. Oh, I moved it. Okay. Let's go. Um, all right. There we go. Now we just keep twirling it up. In there. Right. So I can suck that in. Okay. Just gonna hold that for a second or two so I can stay. That ring tone is so dramatic. <laughs> I haven't changed the ring tone on my phone yet. That ring tone is so dramatic. It's like it's telling you, run, run. The best day of your life is just ahead of you. 
<laughs> All right, so let's see. All right. Oh, this annoying string. All right, so I think with one more pass of these, we'll be good to go. And then we're gonna just sew it all. Um, well, I'm gonna do the wings real quick, and then we're gonna just sew it all up. The wings are super, super easy. <laughs> it's like the phone is telling me you lucky because you have me <laughs> i'm the best thing out there so let's see all right so whoop, whoop. keep getting caught in the little teeth of the Okay, so let's put it there. And it's easy. Starting to get fragile now. Let's, let's see. There we go. I'm going to start to go right up here. I'm gonna rotate it right around the top. I'm sorry I'm out of frame, but I have to do this really, really close to the edge. I'm just putting it in with the rest of whatever's left here. That's pretty much what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna fill the whole thing in. Now let's fill in the rest. Awesome, love. Everything good? Whole bunch of little glue hairs, but we're almost there with um, covering this thing. I'm, I'm not gonna cover it up too too much because I still wanna be able to see the inside of the bulb. Because that's the part that blew my mind. I was like, it's a bulb. And the bulb was like, yes, I know. <laughs> All right, so let's see. So this is how this is looking so far. Still have some trim here and there. This is what it's looking like so far. I gotta stick that down a little better. So far, so good. I am just going to continue to wrap whatever's left of this until I can't wrap no more. Let's see. I hope I'm in frame and you guys are able to see. Did I get so... Oh, oh, oh. 
I get so into what I'm doing that I do sites if I'm in focus or if I'm in frame or whatever the case may be. Awesome. I think all this texture is just going to look so amazing. Texture everywhere. Right now it looks crazy odd because I have like these yellow and green pieces. And it's like, what the heck? And Carmen's making me dizzy. She keeps spinning the dang bottle and gluing strings everywhere. But it'll all make sense in about a second. And it is in another set. Real quick. Bags, my friends. Okay, so let's see. We got it there. Let's just stick that there. Stick that there. I have to stick this on somewhere. So where? Yeah. Right here. Right here. There we go. All right. So we got that going. Now we're going to do the wings. So for the wings, um, pretty much what I did, I just grabbed some glue sticks and let me get this out of the way. Oh, I'm still going to glue that flower on there before I adjust or anything. I don't want to forget that. Definitely want to add that. Um, towards the top. Let's see. I almost forgot to add a flower that I wanted to add in there. Yeah, glue that right on there. All right, so back to what I was saying. <laughs> so for the wings, all, pretty much all I did was I used glue. Um, and then I kind of traced um, the outline first. So I did a little bit of tracing and I just kind of um, zigzagged it all the way up and down the little um, edges of the wings. You are gonna get some glue that's gonna drip off. Don't worry too much about that. So that's the first thing that I did is I kind of traced the wing all the way around. Little glue here is driving me crazy. Okay, so all the way around. All the way around. And after I did that, um, I kind of let that set up for a little bit. Now I'm gonna do the other side. Oh no, I have to let that set up. So we're gonna let that set up real quick. It takes just a few seconds to set up. Hopefully you guys can see. So you got that edge, that outer edge all the way around. So it's not gonna be the perfect outline, um, but just kind of go you know, up and down all the little edges, um, all the little peaks that kind of pop out. You want to catch them all. Okay, that's pretty dry. Let's go ahead and do the other side. And there's always that one side that comes out way better.
and the other side. It's almost like icing a cake, which I am not good at. My lines will be all swervy and crooked. Okay, so we're gonna give that a second. It's okay, love. Oh, I forgot the trim, the flower trim. We'll see if I add it or not. Maybe not. I'm going to the other trim either. Okay. We're going to stay the state. All right. So that should be on its way now. So what I'm going to do now is pretty much... um. I kind of try to picture like what a bird's wing would look like. Um, I didn't really have much of a reference photo or anything like that. So I didn't know like what direction to put the feathers in. So I just kind of went with the grain. So I kind of went in and kind of followed the shape out of um, the feather. Okay. Does it need it? Does it not need it? All right, so pretty much I just kind of Dragged it out. What a little bugger this thing is being today. So I dragged it out. And I just dragged it out. And then let that dry. And that's layer one. And once that dries, it's almost the same thing as using a texture paste and a stencil. You're going to have an, uh, a raised area that is going to catch, um, not only is it going to catch light, but it's going to catch the, the material a little bit different. And it's going to give it dimension. And it's gonna look super embossed. Okay, so while that's kind of going, it should be setting up nicely. We're gonna go ahead and do the same thing. So pretty much from in there, drag it out, kind of curve it out just a little bit. And no two wings are going to be the same. Try not to let it catch too much with itself. And this is why we let it set because um, it'll stick. You give it a few minutes before you, um, you know, work with the other side. So we pretty much do the same thing to the back. I'm going to work on the back a little bit since I can stand it. Um, and just kind of go out in this kind of motion, you know, curving it out, curving it down, curving it down, trying to get straight um, lines. You're gonna need uh, quite a, a few glue sticks to do this. Now, if you notice, I didn't outline um, the outside. Of, I'm gonna do it now. So pretty much, it doesn't matter which order you do this, as long as you do it. If you forget. Um, just go into it and, and add it in. Okay, and that's that's just the first layer. We're gonna go into this and add more texture. Okay, just kind of dragging it out. Okay. 
And again, don't worry, we get that. Um, if you know, if your wings don't look exactly the same, don't worry about that. And then just kind of trace it. Almost like ice my cake, but not quite. So, this is pretty much all that you um, have to do. You could leave them like that if you want. I like to um kind of go in and add more. Just add a whole bunch. I don't know if you guys can see that. And I do it really fast so that I'm not trying to pay too much attention to where they fall. I don't want to get too OCD with the line placement. I just want to get it. Okay. okay. That works. Thank you. And then we pretty much do the same thing to the front, okay? So that is the texture that you end up with in the back. And once you just sew it and then you start adding the paints, all these lines are going to all pick up. It's going to look super cool. So now I'm going to do a little bit to the front as well. Add a little bit more. And you can add as many layers as you want. That's really up to you. That's preference right there. And it's okay if your lines cross. I do them that they cross. Um, like I said, you just pretty much have fun with um, adding the dimension in there. So mine ends up having like a cross pattern, like um, kind of like a diamond pattern. Um, let's see how am I gonna do this. So I'm right-handed. <laughs> so let's see. For some reason, it didn't seem this complicated when I did it the first time. Okay, that one came up with a different pattern altogether, which is fine. <laughs> that's fine too. All right, so I think that's it for what I was going to add to this. I think that's it. I'm not going to go too crazy with the, the top, I don't think. Let's see, what's that face? I could add it though. That would look super cool. All right, I think I'm going to add it anyway. So if I'm going to add this, then I have to do something to it. I just got to adhere to the metal now. Um, maybe I can do this. Maybe I will use the trim after all. So I'm going to grab the fabric to use that as um, what my embellishment is going to hold on to. And hopefully that will give it um, more longevity and resistance.
Hopefully. So now that I got that in there, now I'm going to go ahead and glue this to that. And hopefully you guys can see what everything is looking like. Thank you, Isabel. Thank you, Tina. So now I'm going to add this face, this um, mold that I have right here. And I'm going to fill this thing up with glue. Like I'm gonna fill it, fill it, fill it, fill it, fill it. I'm gonna put so much of it. Okay, I have to wrap something around her face. Let's see. 27.58 is early today. Well, it feels late, but it's early still. It's 28 o'clock. So let's see. Trying to separate the string from this thing because I don't want the string on there. There we go. Okay, so I got that. Let me see how I'm going to. I need to do something to that face because it's got to get filled in. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to add this. Thank you. That's always awesome to hear. <laughs> So I'm going to put this kind of like a halo-ish to glow. It's her glow. So we're going to add that in there. And we're going to add the rest of this in here. These are the projects that I love, these types of things like this. That you're doing something so different. All right, so, see, little beads. I'm debating on if I should add another set or no. No, I think that's overkill. I think that's perfect right there. I think that little bit is just right. I'm not even going to add any strength to it, I don't think. Nope. All right. So now that we've done that and we've done that and we've done it all pretty much, I think it's time to start gessoing. Yes. So let's get our gesso out. Let's put this trim that we don't want gesso somewhere. Okay. Let me use this piece of hard stock to kind of start um, covering everything up with. So let's see. So hopefully you guys can see it. I think you'll be able to see it more now as I start to kind of um, apply the gesso in there. And you could use any color gesso you have or you want. I don't have black gesso right now. So I'm going to use this white one. And I'm just going to try to get it into as many of these groups as I possibly can.
I'm going to just do that. And cover the whole thing up. You get it in, in all of those spots. I don't hope I have enough just. I have to make a new batch, but I can't find school glue. <laughs> I'm going to have to order some so I can make a huge batch. Let's cover her face. Let it dry out a little bit. Okay. Let's do the back of the wings. They must just just wing. Back of the wings. And you can definitely see all that awesome touch just poking out those raised little areas. Asking for some paint. And I hope to still be able to open it. We'll see. We'll see. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. little glue hairs. I hate those little glue hairs. They drive me crazy. All right. Let's see, this is taking quite some time to do. So quiet <laughs> between me doing this and uh, my house personally always being so quiet. This is so like relaxing and annoying all I want to do these blue hairs. So we're almost there when it comes to the jostling of the glass. Let's take up quite an amount of um, the gesso. So if you don't want to waste your good stuff, make some, DIY some.
This is glue paint um, baby powder. That's how I made this gesso. I just ran out of glue so I couldn't make it thicker, which I would have liked to have had it a little thicker. So it's a little runny. Not runny, but um, it's a little looser than I like it. I'm gonna work. That should dry rather quickly, hopefully. I just got just sold over my arm. I don't want to saturate it too much. And you want it, to, you want to kind of stifle it on there. You don't want it to be too, too smooth. You want to give it texture. You want it to dry with some kind of tooth to it. Um, besides that, which the baby powder kind of provides you with. So you want to kind of just stifle it on there. I got one more I'm going to do. And then I'm going to go looking for my colors to use up in here. That's the part that I'm most excited about. It's coloring it up. So much texture in here. I think it looks super cute. I think it's gonna look even cuter once it's all, um, you know, infused with color. Just making sure the wings are all the way covered up. This flower is covered up. Her face, I wanna see the orange. Let's get that nice and covered up. All right. I hope I don't have to heat blast it because it's going to affect my glue. But if I have to, I'll do heat blast it, that is. All right, so this is gonna dry now, at least for a few minutes um, before I start adding other colors and stuff to it. So this is more or less what you're gonna get as far as this result, which this on its own will look really nice. I might not do too, 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 too much to it. Um, I'm gonna drop in some color here and there with um, some of the droppers that I picked up at Hobby Lobby, those ink droppers. I'm gonna add some color like that and see where I take it from there. I don't want her to be too dark as far as color scheme goes. So um, I wanna keep her more on the light side, but I think that kind of works, right? I think that kind of works. Tapping it out. I want to make sure I get the texture that I need so that it grips to the paint and to the sprays and it grips to everything um, that I might throw at it. And we'll see if it will. Look at how it starts now. Yeah. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. The adding the color is the best part. That is the best part for me, it is. Okay. So now that I dry too, too crazy, um, I'm kind of looking for that pastel-y kind of color today. So I'm okay if it blends in um, with some of the gesso, okay? 
If you don't want that to happen, then set it to the side, let it dry thoroughly and completely before you commence to adding color and watercolors or whatever colors you're using, okay? Um, mine's is a little wet and it's very tacky, so, but I'm fully aware and I'm, you know, it's the look I'm kind of going for, is what I'm trying to say. That's what I'm trying to say, people, is the kind of, is the look I'm trying to go on for. So, I'm going to take out some of these um, Dr. P.H. Martin's um, colors. Wicked. Um, some violet. Some brown, but maybe not too much brown, but some brown. I think those three colors should be good. If I need a little accent color, I'll add, I'll add it. It smells like a freshly painted apartment. <laughs> it really does. All right, so I'm going to put it flat like that. I'm going to shake these up. These, these are little droppers, and they're iridescent inks. Beautiful colors. Now I got these on, on Hoppy Dobby um, on sale on clearance. So I'm going to add a few drops of this here and there. And I'm not even looking at what I'm doing right now. I'm just going to let it fall kind of wherever it wants to fall. I'm going to do the pink. This iridescent sometimes is really hard to like get it off the bottom of the bottle. There we go. I'm like, I'm waiting for it to turn milky. <laughs> when is it going to do that? Okay. All right. So let's add again. We're just going to see what we're going to end up with, you guys. This can either be amazingly beautiful and breathtaking, or what the heck, Carmen? Or we're going to play. We're going to play. We're going to play, right? Because that's what Carmen came to do. Carmen came to play. So we're going to play. So let's get in. So, so far I used um, the iridescent orchid and I added some of this gold, right? That's what this is. No, bronze. This is bronze. Okay, so I added some bronze and some um, orchid. So chore to get this thing to move around in there. Jeez. Maybe this one's clogged. Let's see, this one is clogged. I gotta clean the droppers on some of them, they're kind of clogged. Something's gotta get between one of these two. <laughs> right now it looks kind of crazy. So let's add some of this violet in there. I'm gonna add some of this neck. It's really pretty. All right, so let's see. Let's see what it does. Let's see what it does. I 
this one needs more purple. It's more purple over here. I like that. Let's grab some real sprays. Um, and add some real sprays in here. So let's see what I have. Yeah, a little bit of this green. This is kind of like a mop brush. And I'm just going to tap in there. See, because it's mixing with some of the gesso, it's dulling um, the color out. Now, I don't want to brush the color off because I don't want to see the gesso with it since my gesso is still a little wet, so I'm just dapping it on. I wanted this angel to be kind of the opposite of how the, the other angel was because the other angel was kind of dark, you know, it was very steampunkish. So it was really, really dark, um, and I wanted this one to be a little bit lighter in that in that regard. I wanted it to have lighter tones. Just kind of tapping it in there. I don't want to over muddy the colors. Let's add some more of this pink in there. And then we'll be about done.
my thing stopped working, my sprayer end. So I'm gonna add it on like this. Attack in the color. A little more. And let's move the pink. Just tightening it instead of loosening it. Okay, let's see. She's a chubby little bubby. Yeah, chubby, chubby little baby. Love it. Love it, love it. I'm about to get the, um, the metallic paints. And have some fun. Yeah, buddy. And it definitely behooves you to dry this before you start doing all this extra stuff that I'm doing. The reason I'm doing this like this is just because of time crunch. That's all. In a normal situation, I would definitely let this dry. I let my other one dry because I didn't do it on film. So... Don't overdo it. Thank you, love. All right, so we're going to go with some cosmic blue. We're going to go with some gold brush. We are going to go with... Maybe some white frost or some accent. Some white frost, some gold some cosmic blue um i think we need a little bit of teal and those are pretty much the three colors that i have going on in here i mean i have a little bit of the espresso which is i guess the nickel will be considered like the espresso color um yeah, 
estas son las mías. Desde los Nuggets. Hola, desde los Nuggets. Gracias. Spanish Brass. What was that even? I think I'll use. Right, I took out some burnished brass, which is like the nickel kind of color, even though I did use some bronze, but the bronze is more like gold. So I pulled out the gold. Um, so, ooh, this was open. I got to clean those um, little thingies out. And then we use this Lindy's um, Stamp Gang Spray and Cement Green. We spray a little bit of that. This is a DIY. This is just um, acrylic. Uh, water down acrylic paint with water. Um, so let's see. So we're going to do that. Let me get a brush to do that with. And I like to go for something that's a little bit stiffer. So I'm going to go for something that's a little bit stiff um, so that it grabs more of the product and kind of leaves it behind where I need it to. So I'm going to go on with this. Bronze. I'm gonna spray these down so that they can be ready for me because some of them are dry. Some of them are super, super dry. Gold, for example, super dry, super dry. And you can definitely tell when you're product is dry because when you touch it it feels kind of hard so all right let me stand up let me put this brush here to the side let me put this here and let's start and grab some bronze i'm gonna try to load up my brush pretty good with this and then i'm just gonna rub it right right along the top i'm not looking to Put it in the grains or in the little grooves. Just give me enough that I can just kind of put it here and there. By the time that you're done with all the layers, you're good to go. More water in there. I figure I'm going to be using a lot of this. You can also water it down and then, you know, kind of pour it in there. It'll get into all the little grooves. So I like some of those turquoise. Paint the whole thing, top of the bulb with the turquoise. Okay. Okay, let's do it back. 
just adding products at this time. It doesn't matter to me where it goes, as long as it goes. Hey, Jackie. A little bit of water in this blue. Try to get some of off of this brush. Let's mix this blue up. Let's get a nice blue in here. And let's darken up these edges. Let's darken it up. Just letting it so that the edges catch. Okay. And I think once this dries all the way up, I'll be able to add even more layers into it. So I'll probably keep going back into it until I am 100% satisfied with what. Um, my end result is. Right now it still needs to dry before I can continue um, adding more to it. So <clears throat> I'm gonna add um, the last two colors and then I'm gonna have to set this aside and let it dry. Once it's dry and every all my pieces are solid, then I can go into it and add more. Um, once I do do that, I'll do I'll do a video share um, and share with you guys what the final product looks like. <clears throat> so I have a lot going on here. We have a lot going on. A lot of good stuff happening, but a lot going on nonetheless. What did I break off? Oh, I broke off one of the little thingies. Oh, wrong color. <laughs> I went to the wrong color. Uh, yeah, I want this, flower, this paper flower to kind of dry and take its shape so that I can really get into it. I can't really get into it like that. It's too flimsy right now for me. So a little bit of that, a little bit of this gold. I'll put this gold here and there. And yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it like this because um, I can't keep adding any more until it's completely, completely, completely dry. So you guys, I think we're going to leave it like this for tonight. I think we're going to leave it like this for tonight, but um, sometime between tomorrow and Monday, I'll finish it up. I'll, you know, I'll have to let it all dry all the way through and through. I'll finish it up and then I'll add more colors and more depth to it. Right now it's too dry. So you're going to definitely have to do this kind of project in, in steps. Um, you won't be able to do this kind of project all in one sitting. Unless you, you know, you're able to heat it up right then and there. But if you're using glue, um, glue sticks like I did to do your um, wings, you might not want to heat it up with one of those tools because it might distort your whole situation, okay? So um, you're going to have to have a little bit of patience and just kind of let it dry, um, which takes a little bit of time to dry, and then continue from there and then let it dry, continue from there, okay? Um, so this is what we have so far. And I think this is going to look amazing once it's completely completely done i'm not 100 percent in love with it just yet but i know i will be very um very shortly it does have a lot of awesome things going on right now and once i'm able to let this dry and kind of um go into more detail with the colors and pull out some of the other you know some more of the textures here and there um i'm gonna be in love with it i know it so this is what i got it's completely completely wet it's a little hard for me to kind of grab it and uh share with you guys all the way through and through but hopefully you're able to kind of see um, the textures of the wings. Um, just the way that it's kind of looking while it's going around. 
And this might be a little darker, not too much darker, just a little darker because I do want to keep it light. And I love how the wings are coming out um, so far. Loving it, loving it. So I'm going to leave this to dry, you guys. I want to say thank you so much for hanging out with me tomorrow, you guys. is the next installment for the hop, for the Metals in Love, as well as Love is in the Air. I'm super excited to share with you guys what I have made. I hope that you guys will enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you so, so much for being here. Definitely make sure that you check out everybody that's going to be participating in the hop. You're going to find everybody in the list down below. Thank you so much, Isabel, for moderating. Love you, girl. Thank you so much to everybody else for being here. Thank you so much to Sasson for holding it down as always. Yes. And thanks to everybody that stopped by. Thank you for giving me a little bit of your time, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.